Hi everyone, here's an update for those that are following the BMW R 1300 uh, Panier issue that we've got. Um, again, this is a global issue affecting all of BMW across across the world, pretty much anyone who's bought the new R 1300 GS and uh, want to try and get the BMW specified panniers, having real issues with that. So this is just a wee update where we are. Um, as you can see, we're up at John Clark Motorrad up in Dundee, which is where I bought the bike. Um, I'll be honest with you, they've been really good, in particular PETA. Um, you know, trying to get this all sorted because this is the first time they've had this. And they know it's obviously an issue. BMWs came out and you know gave ways of trying to get it all sorted, which is that silly strap thing. Um, I'll try and find a wee picture so we can load it into the, the video so you can see. That fix, to be honest with you, I'm not happy with. Uh, I'm not riding a bike with big silly straps around it. Um, I've already had the top box, or not the top box, sorry, this left hand pannier. Completely fall down on me whenever I've been riding. Thankfully I had my stuff in a inner bag. It didn't fall out. Had that not been the case, all my stuff would have been everywhere on a trip. So someone in the south of Ireland would have been picking up uh, toothbrush kit and all the rest of it. Um, so a couple of wee things with these panniers, why I'm not happy with them. The central locking doesn't work on it properly. So not the way it's supposed to do. Same with that top box, central locking's not working properly in the top box either. Um, it's just an absolute frustration whenever you've got, you know, you're trying to find your keys to open stuff for you know, to put away the helmet and so on. So thankfully all of it's going back. Now, we had to go through BMW complaints to try and get to where we are. So if you are affected by it, then speak to the dealer, you know, so hopefully this is an, a way for people to try and find out what they need to do if they're not happy with it and want to return it. BMW haven't got any fix at the moment. The only thing is that silly strap. They've said it's going to be July 2025 before they've got new panniers. So certainly, you know, trying to give people an option for specking these on the bike. So if you're wanting this, you can't get it, basically. You just need to try and find another way of doing it. Part of the agreement was I've got to take these back to BMW. They will be destroying these. These will not be going up for sale. They have got to keep them and get them destroyed because they're just not fit for purpose. So that's kind of where we are with it all just now. So just waiting in with BMW at the moment to move over the keys to get these taken off. They're taking everything off it. Um, that's part of the agreement, as I say, to get the refunded money back. Just to be a look at the old Vario banners. I miss them. Nothing electronic, nothing fancy, just work, just big solid boxes. So um, I think BMW probably should have stuck to that with the new one. I know they tried to make it a bit different, but uh, this is where we are just now. And that's the boxes all off and ready to go back, ship back to BMW. The actual bike itself, the R1300, is outstanding. Those panniers, no. <laughs> so think of an alternative solution for your luggage uh, for the time being to BMW get this one sorted out. Loads of comments in the last video. This is something that you know, I think a lot of people are really disappointed with, to be honest, with BMW's you know, releasing a motorbike with panniers that seem to be relatively untested and there's so many issues that people are experiencing now and certainly with the solution of putting that strap around the actual pannier it's just not good enough to be honest with you so hence why we've had to go and look at something else as well so um, now we've had all the bits and pieces taken off the bike which is grand thank you again to john clark motorrad for doing that i know it's not their fault they're just responsible for selling the actual bikes um, but they've been really, really good for getting everything sorted and trying to get this dealt with, which has been first class. So, my question is now, the bike is pannierless, you know, do a lot of touring, a lot of travelling. What's next? What are we going to go for? So, how do we look at different luggage options uh, and reached out to Lone Rider and we've managed to get a uh, pair of the Lone Rider moto bags. So... A bit different. I've always had hard luggage in bikes. Um, just something you know. I've just I thought everybody had that to be honest. But over the years, I'm now starting to see more and more soft luggage options coming out. Um, I spent a weekend there. Uh, with an adventure weekend with Nick Sanders. Uh, which video will come soon with that. Uh, but everybody there, and even ever asked Nick, I said hard panniers or soft panniers. Nick said soft panniers every single time for adventuring. Uh, he said just it's much better, you know, there's less damage if you happen to drop the bike, you know, you're going to crush your legs, etc, etc. So Lone Rider seemed to have a really good solution for that, uh, which is their motobags. 
they're soft but they're sizable you know you've got 38 liters for the gs on one side and 31 liters on the other so plenty of room for storing kit as well you can lock them to the bikes that's always been the fear you know someone can walk along and lift them away uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case you know they actually have a locking mechanism built into it which again is a really good feature and certainly one that helps whenever you're trying to work out you know what sort of luggage system you're going to go for on the bike as well so um, we'll do another wee video just sort of seeing what that's like. I know there's going to be loads of GS owners out there going, well, what's the solution? What do we do? We've got a year to wait for these uh, BMW, you know, specific panniers with the Vario systems. Um, what am I going to do in the meantime? Uh, so I'm going to show you what the Lone Rider gear looks like. Uh, so you can see what that's, you know, basically how does it fit in the bike? You know, how does it look aesthetically? Um, you know, in terms of actually using it, we've got a couple of big trips still to come up as well this year. Um, so we can actually get a good review and see what the Lone Rider system has to offer as well. So more to come on that. Um, but basically, long story short, with the R1300 Saga, um, it's really disappointing. I feel sorry for all the owners who have currently got them who are having issues. What you need to do, you need to get in touch with your dealer if you're not happy with them. The strap, if you want to live with the strap, absolutely fine. There's no issues with that at all. and It will work. You know, because obviously you're stopping the actual um, system from flapping open. But ultimately, you know, if you're not happy with these panniers, speak to the dealer, get them removed. Um, BMW will offer full refunds if people aren't happy with them, which I think is actually really good. It's, if they had given branded straps or something like that, you know, rather than the white delivery straps it comes with, I think it would have been a bit better, certainly from a PR point of view. Imagine, this is already a bit of a PR disaster as well. So, again, a bit silly from BMW uh, with that one, but um, if you're not happy, as I say, get in touch with the dealer, get them to refund you. They will do it, uh, and you know it allows you then to look at other luggage solutions uh, for what you want for your bike.